Good evening, everyone. Two men who murdered two women. One is going to jail tonight for life. The other is still fighting to save his life. James Hubert Green got a life sentence today for the murder of Joanne Fleming. She was a Charlotte real estate agent. He was a burglar, and he goes to jail as part of a plea bargain. This man is also a murderer. Daniel Lee murdered Jenny Gray, a writer at Appalachian State. Tonight, Lee's attorneys are trying to keep him from a death, a death sentence. And both crimes took the lives of women in the prime of their lives, took women from families still agonizing over the losses. And we have two reports tonight, starting with the murder of Joanne Fleming. Steve Gasquet reports live from the murder scene. Well, Bill Begg, on December 1st of last year, a young man named James Green wanted to go to a basketball game. Didn't have any way to get there, so he went looking to steal a car. He came here to this parking lot in front of a model home in a subdivision in North Charlotte. He saw a red Jeep. He decided he'd steal, he would steal that. But instead of stealing it, he killed its owner, shot Joanne Fleming twice. Then he says he went home and went to bed. Well, he'll be sleeping in prison tonight and for many years to come. And the people in this neighborhood say they'll be sleeping a lot easier. So we feel relieved now that he's caught and it's over, but yeah, we'll be a lot more cautious in the future. The neighbors may never forget that night when that nice realtor, Joanne Fleming, was killed as she left work. But at least now, they say, they'll sleep easier knowing her killer is headed to prison, not back to the neighborhood. At least we can live in the neighborhood now and know that he's not going to be out here next week. So we're thankful for that. In court today, James Hubert Green stood quietly as his attorney entered guilty pleas for him. Guilty of second-degree murder. Guilty of robbery with a dangerous weapon. But Judge Shirley Fulton wanted to hear it from Green himself. Are you, in fact, guilty? Yes, Your Honor. A painful conclusion for Fleming's family, who lost a daughter, a wife, and a mother. But just the beginning of James Green's time in prison. He was sentenced to 27 to 28 years for the robbery and a consecutive term of life for the murder. With parole, Green could be set free after 22 years, part of a plea agreement that dropped the main charge down from murder one. In our discussions with the Board of Paroles, it appears that this is about the uh, maximum sentence that we could assure that the defendant would have to serve. But the realtor who started the reward for Fleming's killer says 22 years is not enough. We uh, believe that the guy should be in prison for the rest of his life for taking somebody else's life in this cold, calculated kind of way, and we're disappointed. Neighbors agree, but... For the feeling of our safety and security, at least he's going to be away for 22 years. And folks, we need to apologize for something. That was not Joanne Fleming's picture we showed you earlier. That was a picture of another realtor who a few years earlier was killed in Charlotte. Now, the 22-year minimum term that uh, James Hubert Green will spend in prison angered some people, but there is one positive aspect of the plea agreement, and that is there will be no jury selection, there will be no trial, and for the family now, it's all over. Bill, Meg. And Steve, what's the reaction tonight from uh, Mrs. Fleming's family? Well, we understand that they had some role in accepting that plea agreement, but as they were leaving court today, no reporter had the heart to ask them anything. Okay, thank you very much, Steve. The uh, sentencing also got underway today in 